the real rationale behind the study of alpha BSM versus autogenous like bone graft was really the question of what's the optimal fixation for a tibial plateau fracture where there is articular components. Uh, starting in the really in the 1980s, uh, Bob Buchholz had talked about using hydroxyapatite as a block or spacer to hold up the articular surface. And we always realized that this was important because we couldn't get fixation in the articular fragments because they're so small. And so the concept was, wouldn't it be nice to have a, a calcium phosphate cement that was more like a PMMA type device as far as support? So we'd like some material that would be very resistant to compressive loads, but still in a physiologic range of load. And then the holy grail would be the, the material that would be absorbed or replaced by normal cancellous bone. The fibular head is right here, and this is the proximal tibial fibrillar joint right at this interval. The plate typically has a posterior extension down to this level to capture the posterior part of the joint. So there's our articular fracture, it's unstable, okay? And it's too small a piece to put a screw in to hold it. So I'm gonna place two wires, one posteriorly at the joint edge, second wire, So now I've got two joysticks in this fragment to correct any alignment or rotational change. So the plate has now stabilized the metaphyseal region and restored the rim part of the fracture complex. So the problem is, that even though we fix this, this metaphyseal piece potentially could still move. The third technique is awaiting FDA approval and is addressing one of the concerns we have because in the study 9% of the patients had some collapse even with the alpha BSM cement. And we look back at that, the majority of the people who had the collapse had less than 5 cc's of cement. And the speculation is that either the cement wasn't adequate in volume or it wasn't in the right place for optimum support. That research has actually led to development of this screw system to try to be able to let the surgeon get the material in exactly the right place with exactly the right amount of material.